but seriously, these are the best. A little bit of Parmesan cheese on a zucchini. They are so good. They're crunchy. My favorite zucchini with Parmesan cheese and it's been baked and there are two layers. This is what could not fit on the bottom layer. I think I've got done three layers going. Oh, I need to make a bunch of those. Do you hear that? They're so crunchy. They're so addictive. These will be gone in a day. We are going to shred this Parmesan cheese block along with this Parmesan cheese block. For the zucchini, I just flipped this over. So this is the cheese shredder side and I flip it over to the slicer side. So that is what's going to slice the zucchini into perfect little rounds. And so that way we can all make sure that they're all even. If I get a zucchini that's too large to fit inside of the little hole, then I just slice it and fit it in there so it fits perfectly. But that's how I get my zucchini chips to be even and uniform without having to cut them up manually. These are zucchini slices. I sliced these with my food processor and then I put them all in one single layer and put some shredded cheese, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese on it. And I bake it at 350 for 15 minutes and then I take it out and set it here to cool and it still cooks a little bit. So leave it on the tray for the full 15 minutes because they end up looking like this after they're cooked. I usually use the pre-shredded cheese from Aldi, but this time I went ahead and got the block from Aldi and shredded it myself. I'm baking for the first time on my freeze dryer tray. I saw somebody else doing that online, so I figured I could do it too. And then you can put a piece, a piece of parchment paper down and put another layer or two of these. Just make sure you put parchment paper in between each one to absorb some of the moisture and to keep them separated so they don't freeze dry together. These make amazing zucchini parmesan chips this is our parmesan cheese chips or they will be once they're freeze dried i put a layer of parmesan chips i do 350 for 15 minutes and then i leave it on the tray until they're completely cool so it can finish cooking the rest of it while it's out of the oven and then i do a layer of parchment paper and then another layer of zucchini and another layer of parchment paper so i've got three three layers of the zucchini chips this is another layer of zucchini chips and then leftover taco meat all right, and we're ready to go. All right, drain is closed. The filter's been changed, the oil's been changed. We're ready to go. All right, it's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my bucket. That's open now. Wait till the ring opens up. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Ooh, hot. Of course, my gloves are in the kitchen, and I don't want to disturb the babysitter. Ooh, it's so hot. This is it. They cool off pretty fast, though, at least. There's the ground beef. Chips are delicious, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Okay, so some of this I'm adding to my current stash and some of it I'm going to keep in a new stash. Trying really hard to get this done so that I can actually send it to my family. Because I keep eating it all, it's so delicious. So this time I made as much as I possibly could fit in there. That's why I do the parchment paper. You can see there's a lot of grease on there from the cheese. Hmm. 
feel a little cold. I'm gonna stick these back in there. I want it to be completely done. These might be done, but I don't want to risk it. When we're talking about shipping this to friends and family. I don't want them to get sick. I definitely don't want the food to go bad, so. We're gonna put it in here, just freeze dry that one more time. I can't tell if it's pulled from that blowing down or if it's just these or if it's been open. These are fine. They don't feel cold, so. Although that could be anything. I don't know. Since I am running this again, I went ahead and spread out the taco meat. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there anyway. It's not really needed to run again. Uh, it feels pretty dry, but it doesn't hurt to run it more than once. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in and run it since I'm already going to run it again. That'll give me more time to work while the babysitter's here and then I can put it away a little later. 